Thank you so much. I think uh, it's my great privilege to be here amongst all of you all. Um, I have been to Jahangir Art Galleries maybe since decades, coming for different exhibitions. Um, prominent artists, Indian contemporary artists. But the feeling you get into coming to something like this is the moment you come in, you have a smile on your face and you feel emotional, the chanting, the bhakti, uh, the energy put into these paintings. So, of course, we all, are, most of us over here are, are, are used to different, and not something which you see, which is depressing with twisted faces, you know how the contemporary artists are. They, they try to communicate something through abstractness. So it really appealed to me, and from that time, um, I actually stopped collecting paintings which belong to that genre, and I only started buying devotional art. A lot of uh, Iskon paintings also I tried to collect, and Bengal School of Art, which also paints um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhuji and uh, Krishna consciousness and the scenes of Krishna's life in a very elaborate way, is being sold for millions of dollars in uh, Satavis and Christie's, people keep aspiring to buy those. Uh, I'll tell you a small incident that when I had some of these paintings in my house, which were bought by my late mother, uh, one grand aunt of mine came from Calcutta and she said, uh, these paintings you have put up, when you look at it, how does it make you feel? So I said, it makes me feel good, I'm looking at a painting. So she's saying, but are their faces are twisted, there is no proper features, there is all abstractness.